In previous video, I walked you through how I made 20 second counting up using CSS animation and how to spot a bad rendering performance using DevTools. So let's talk about how to make this basic looking application a little bit more fun using CSS Paint API. With CSS Paint, you as a web developer can define how an element looks like beyond what you can do with general styling. Um, you can have a complex border shape or advanced background colors. Sometimes you can combine multiple elements to express a complex design. But with custom paint, you use one element and paint however you want. I'm going to attempt changing the top border of my div so that it is more closer to the design concept of water filling up the screen. You can probably do the same with canvas element, but remember, I already made this app so that browser doesn't paint every frame and I want to keep that way. So how do you create custom paint? Well, you need to edit at least three files to do that. First is a separate JavaScript file just for custom paint. In there, you create a class with paint method, which we will get to later. Once that's done, you call register paint and give whatever name you want to call this paint. In HTML, you import that file as a paint worklet. And with this, custom paint is ready to be used. So in your CSS, you call paint function with name of the custom paint you defined. So let's look into paint method in details. There are a few arguments that get passed. The first is context. This is similar to a canvas API. Any drawing you do, you do it through the context. Second argument is size, which gives a pixel value of the element this paint is applied to. So for my app, what I did was to check the size of the div, which should be size of the viewport, and drew a modified rectangular shape that has wavy border at the top. I could have defined the gradation color here, but I wanted to easily change that from CSS. So I used this custom paint as a mask image on top of gradient background image. What it means is that the background is rectangular, but masked with the custom shape. For browsers that does not support custom paint, it just looks like a rectangular gradient div. So that's how I got this wavy border at the top without sacrificing the rendering performance. Um, extra thing you could do here is to use custom property. Say I wanted to change the height of the wave from CSS as a custom property, then what I can do is to define property in my class. And once that's done, register that in index.html and use it in my CSS as a custom property. So whatever you put it in CSS, the custom paint can reference that too. So that's it. That's the app. I also added service worker and manifest JSON to make this a PWA. So you can install it on your desktop or add to home screen on your phone. You can try it at glitch link listed here. Hope this was helpful. And remember, wash your hands, do social distancing and stay safe. Bye.